How's it going guys? Tony here. And uh, before we get going with this video, just a reminder, please subscribe to me. I am going to be giving away a Super NES Classic Edition at the end of the month. All you have to do to be eligible is subscribe to me. And that's it. I would also suggest that you put on notifications so that you guys can be in the loop. I'm going to post a video later, uh, closer to the date, so you guys know exactly how to enter. So anyway, today I am going to go over my coverage of Midway Antique Mall Outdoor Flea Market. Okay, it We kind of didn't know about it. We kind of did know about it and forgot about it. And we're going to check out to see what I find. I uh, found a lot today. And there's some good stuff here. So check out to see what I, what I get. Thanks for watching. Bubby, keep talking. What are we doing today? Talk a bunch. <laughs> what are we doing today? I don't know. Get the where cameras out of my face. Where, where are we? Where are we? Just tell me real quick and I'll leave you alone. Oh, midway. Doing what? Game you changing. just said he, but what? He said he'd, he'd leave him alone. What is this? I, I don't know. Outdoor flea market. I don't care. It's <laughs> called a form of bullying is what it is. You're a, far, you're a f form of... You should, Crap. You shouldn't be filming and driving at the same time. Well, you shouldn't be alive. You should be dead and not breathing. Okay. Got Cowboy Bill over here. Is that how you teach your youth? What? You should be dead <laughs> and not breathing. <laughs> I'm wanted. I'm a wanted man in seven, what is it? Systems. Alright, this guy wants money, probably. All the money in the world. We're gonna go park. Is that okay, Bubby? I don't care. Your car's. Alright. I think I've just decided not to give a crap about filming people. I don't care either. Uh, we're at the Midway Antique Mall, and uh, we're at an outdoor flea market. So we're pretty pumped to be here. This is kind of plan B. We're, we were going to go to Rolla, Missouri to see Schnozberry, but Schnozberry's not feeling well. So, we'll see what we find. Are these shoes? Yeah. Got him. Got him. Got him. People have clothes. I just have it in the box. I don't want them. He can? Yeah, he's really good at the Gollum song. Did you know that? No. Oh, that's cool. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask about that one. Ooh. My dad would like that. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's really funny when you do that to Bubby. Just bring it right, right, right to his face. <laughs> hey, look. Oh, tennis. Actually, I think that's. You're a tennis coach, right? Yeah. Whoa. Barely. <laughs> uh, Sarah was telling me that a couple people can't work because they have tennis. I was like, hey, you know, Tony, Tony teaches tennis. I teach tennis? Did you know Tony's teacher? No, I didn't know that. Oh, look! 
Oh, that's awesome. I don't think it's that awesome. The day, look. That's, I, I might actually did the play. You didn't know that? No. Oh, when they changed the color? No. What do you mean? Right, because the White House wasn't white. This is, this is Jeff City, dummy. You're not a historian, I guess. Oh, no, because I don't give a crap. Perfect spelling certificate. Uh, you'll hear that all day long. Perfect spelling? Yeah. What do they do? Stuff. Oh, look at that. I wasn't sure if it was a horse or a meal at first. I think it's a mule. I was hoping it was a donkey. A little donkey. Oh, Stevie. <laughs> I'm going to ask a dollar for it. It's sealed. You like sealed stuff, huh? <laughs> oh, look. It's on tape. I'm sorry. It's on tape. <laughs> yeah. He probably hasn't had death in the box yet either. Yeah, there's a video game one down here too. A video game death. Yeah, that would be cool. That kid is awfully happy. Yeah, I was gonna look at that. What is it? Oh, it's, that's a little kid game, isn't it? A dice game. Bumper top. Have you seen any video games yet? Is the flea market open today, do you know? The CD is free for a dollar. Three dollars, okay. The fiction are a dollar. The um, vintage paper, the vintage hardback for a dollar. And then popular fiction magazines um, and comics are free for a dollar. Oh, you have comics? Cool. Oh, thank you. Here's Fox. Buy lots. Lots? But I have to get through here. Yeah. Oh, look. Ugh. Gosh dang it. I have this. She said three for a dollar? Yeah. Come with the game? Yeah, this came out before the game. The game was based off of that. I don't know if you knew that. Yeah, I, I'm bringing stuff through. I didn't really care to know that. Well, since you're such a Nintendo 64 nerd, I love it. then why didn't you marry it? Here's another one. See, look, that's sort of interesting. Because that game got canceled. Oh. How much did you say on the... Uh, I'll ask her. I'll ask her again. Thank you. You're filming this? Yeah. What? No. <laughs> hey, lightsabers. <laughs> Ooh. Is that? Can I see what year it is? I don't know. Oh, that's cool. What year? 
Five dollars? No, not five dollars. What's it say on the bottom? His foot. Two thousand five. It's not vintage. Right. Yep. Can you hold this for a second? Yeah. Thirty bucks. This is the original one. See one on it. That's rocking. It's got a lot of toys. That's cool. What? Oh, yeah. Bizarro. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. For life. Who's that? Evil Wolverine? Uh, that's that. Of course. Oh. You got any Ninja Turtles? Oh, cool. I'll check it out. Thanks. Still, like, this is all like overflow and excess stuff. I mean, there's a few, like, I don't really collect do it. some of the stuff. Like, Do it. Do it. Oh, you have Ghostbusters? I, I pick it up when I find it. Oh. So, yeah. I mean, I've got the Proton Pack even, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have one. <laughs> Make sure you found I bought that to replace what I thought was no. a broken childhood toy. And then my brother just found ours in the attic, and I'm like, well, this is in better shape, but I'm going to keep mine. Uh. <laughs> Has the Rocketeer stickers all over our proton packs. <laughs> hey, look, it's the Rat King. Oh, it's the string. Okay, I gotcha. That's easy. Look. Gosh, I love obscure toys. I do too. I, I, I eat it up. Oh man, <laughs> Ghostbuster. I here, excuse me, bud. Yeah. Man, I remember these. Even if you don't need anything today, there's me. Cool. So, do you have a store, or do you just? Uh, I do a lot of stuff on Facebook. Um, so just like find like I'm the only Garen Overfield because I have a weird name, so it's handy. Thanks. I'm the, I'm the only Garen Overfield on Facebook, so if you search Garen Overfield, I, I come up and you can contact me. Or there's that Captain America guy uh, is a Facebook page that I have. I don't do a whole lot with it, but you can contact me through there too to buy and sell. Cool. We're we're on YouTube. Cool. Uh, Retro Tony. Oh, cool. We yeah. do. Uh, we look for old video games, and uh -huh. I love toys too. So. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah, we're gonna check it out too. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I brought any video games this time around. I think I just have two DS games that nobody's going to want. What are they? Little Pet Shop and Lego Batman. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's probably the one. Mad Balls. Mad Balls. Yeah, I was going to add Mad Balls. So do you have your own collection then, too? Oh, yeah. Or? Yep. So most of this stuff is excess from my collection. Um, but... Like I said, like Ghostbusters is a line I don't actually collect. It's just one that I know sells so I buy it when I find it. Um, but like the vintage Star Wars and Captain America and really any Marvel superhero is my main collection. And then my wife does, uh, she does Wonder Woman. It's her main collection. So our whole basement is Captain America, Wonder Woman, and Star Wars. Oh, nice. <laughs> What's your favorite line for Star Wars? Oh, the vintage. Vintage, vintage. Star Wars is... is it's my crack cocaine. I mean, I yeah. just can't get enough of it. It's kind of like with me and NES. Yeah. Super NES. What are these? Night lights. Old Wicket night lights. Wow. On Princess Nisa. 
So do you have uh, the prototype fit? No. No. I've thought about buying like a kit bash version, like where someone just did it themselves and like mm -hmm. customized it. But I I I don't know. I'm I'm kind of a purist. I want the actual original stuff. Like every every weapon here, every every piece is a vintage piece. There's no reproductions. Like I'm, mm. I'm a complete Nazi about that. Like I don't want anything to go in my collection or in my stuff for sale. Like, <laughs> so it's um do you um do you have the gold Darth Vader one like this? Not a gold Darth Vader, but I have the, the black. But no, I mean like, because it was like a misprint, I think. Did you ever hear about that? Yeah. yeah. It was a misprint, and they accidentally made them gold. There was only like huh. a thousand of them, I yeah. guess. So. That's cool. Yeah. I've never even heard of that story. There's so much stuff, though, that Kenner did where they just made quick little mistakes. And they yeah. They ended up making super valuable stuff. Welcome really 70 bucks wow really yeah it's it's sought after it's it is especially wow. now that the uh uh star wars celebration one came out <laughs> ig88 yeah uh, so Thir that one went up in price so much and everybody wants that figure now it's the same figure just in a different package and so instead of paying 200 bucks people are like well, now you can pay 70 and get this one so. wow <laughs> So do you have a booth here in the, the mall? I don't. The, I don't. You don't? I pretty much just sell out of my house and go to shows huh, and do this. Cool. So. Hey, so what's wrong? Hey. I got the creepy crawlers? Did you see that? Are you going to get it? No. I thought about getting it for my dad. That's really cool. With the set legato? That one. Thank you, man. I really appreciate hey, no it. Problem. You yeah. Have that dude was really cool. Wasn't he? Oh, he had comics, Bubby. Does he have any super Sonic? I don't see any Sonic. Yeah, Sonic Riders. See that? Yeah. That's part of an old pinball. It's the top. <laughs> That's really weird. That's part of a pinball top. 70s has to be. I think through all of this time, I've actually found out you know nothing. Will you shove it? I have taught him plenty. I taught him. I taught him how uh, not to eat it up at NYR. <laughs> no, I taught him what rare and uncommon means. <laughs> Look, he's getting upset already. Bubby doesn't get upset. Bubby is a uh, a rock. You know? He got. You remember the last time we went to an outdoor flea market? Uh, yeah. He was upset too. No, it was because um, I think his uh, house sitting lady was upset. Games. He's upset about that a lot. Oh. What's he got on it? Look on the back. Yeah, that's that's the dude I know. What? I know this dude. Uh, you know him as in he's a Facebook friend? Yeah. Okay. It's not knowing somebody, you know that. No, I met, I bought some games off of him. Oh, wow, you know him. Here, can you hand me that? No, just the Pugsley. Thanks. This is cool. I might make a play on that. Oh, hand me that super, Superman. What was that? I didn't see it. Yeah, I'm gonna try to make. A, I'm gonna try to make a play on that too. Oh, there's revenge. <laughs> that it's really funky. You wouldn't like it. 
Oh, Ninja Gaiden. Or do you call it Gaiden? Is that a good one? Yes. It's a good one. It's it's actually that's not bad. How's it going, man? They made asteroids for the 60. Yeah, I got that off your dad actually. How much is it? Ooh. Hey Tony, no filming. No filming? <laughs> What's up, man? Whoa, he does know you. I told you. I was making fun of him because he always says he knows you. Yeah, he knows people. <laughs> I have connections. Well, Facebook friend is in that you that you. We. He's not I, an answering text message. Oh, I'm but, not. He's not. Not. But yeah, we met. I bought a Retron Five off of him. Whoa, Retron! Everybody loves yeah. their Retrons. Yeah, Actually, no, we did a trade. Yeah. Yep, we did. We did. About as much as we like the SNES Mini. So is this your money or Tony's money? Uh, he actually <laughs> owes me money. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I might, I might have to uh, borrow my own money. <laughs> Did you actually pay Tony? No. No, I he didn't. still owes me money. <laughs> nope. Nice. All right, my man. man. So I was thinking five on the Pugsleys, and ooh, look at that. Look at this. What do you think? You know what it's worth. <laughs> I hate it when somebody says that. What do you, what do you think? Damn what's it. it what's it say on the back? What what do you have on the back? Nothing. Nothing. I'll do twelve total, man. I can do that all I know day. You can. Yeah, 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 I'll do that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm not done looking. Bridge, right? <laughs> I'm getting there. <laughs> oh, you got Super Famicom? Yep. And there's a Japanese 64 game. Ooh. You need a Animal Crossing for your collection? Actually, yeah. Yeah. I told you're going to buy more. Actually, yeah. I'd, yeah, let me look at those. <laughs> I'm glad you guys came out, man. Yeah. We were actually, this was kind of a I plan heard B. I heard there's uh, one in the Sam's Club parking lot. Um. And I've actually it? found video games at the Steam Engine show, but you got paid to get in there. Steam Engine show? Yeah, what exit is it? Woolrich? Okay. Yeah, I like, uh, I really like, I don't know if you're uh, familiar with the original Xbox. Yeah. They have um, employee stickers, the big giant circular ones. Uh huh. And I, there was an, uh, an ex employee of Microsoft out there and selling their whole game collection. They bought it at the Microsoft store directly. Yeah. And that's, huh. it was pretty, it was pretty cool, but yeah, like two bucks a game at huh. the Steam Engine show. So where, where's the, the one in the Sam's? Is it in the parking lot? Which one, which, which Walmart, do you know? It's the uh, Sam's on Conley Road. Okay. Conley Road. Yeah. Cool. So like, um, if you get on, it's one right off 63. Okay. Cool. Thank you for the tip. Yeah, man. Will you quit? I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Um, what were you thinking on these? You want to do all three of them? Yeah, uh, let me look at these yeah, too. Oh, right, we'll they talk. Oh, he also wants to buy my 64 game. Conquer? I do not. It doesn't have a bubble. Is that a deal breaker? Uh, what is it? 20. Which one? Live and reloaded. No booklet. That's not complete. That's not worth it. Tell, tell, <laughs> oh. tell me charging too much. <laughs> I'm a dirty reseller. <laughs> I'm a dirty reseller. No booklet. I'll, I'll no booklet. Man, bucks. That is really cool artwork. That is cool. What is it? 20? It's Muscle Bomber? <laughs> it looks like a wrestling... Yeah, it's a wrestling game. It's five bucks a game. Yeah, that's pretty What is this? Yeah. Like, is this... This is... This is called Priority Simulator. Did you do 30 for that? <laughs> 30 with that? Yeah. So 10 for Conquer? Yeah. No. Oh, <laughs> I, I thought I was being fair at 20. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, Why do you I, want I, that one? Don't you have the other one? What? No, no, the has one. I gave it to him whenever I found it. Don't you have Rare Replay on your Xbox One? You gave it to him? Yeah. What? Don't you have Rare Replay on your Xbox One? I don't have an Xbox One. I have Why Rare Replay. What? Why not? No. I didn't have the Xbox One. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> well, I'm pretty. I'm stuck at 20. Yeah, I got. I got pretty high demand for the game. Yeah. Do you really need to film while I'm filming? Shut up. <laughs> is there any other? Is there any other exclusives over here? Oh, that's an exclusive. Um.
Oh man, this is dangerous. This is really dangerous. Don't you want Castlevania? And... Oh, that's really cool I know, artwork. I, I, I just love the artwork. Uh, I might have kept What's the other What's this? Oh, Wave Race? Yeah. I, I, there's a couple of them. Are you going to do those for 20? Yeah. Cool, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. Why is your money so low? Uh, He's sweaty. I work. No. I work. You worked out? Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> It's because right. he's in a mood today. He's kind of grumpy. <laughs> they make me get up early again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you buy you a Mercury? No. <laughs> Dollar each. Batmobile. I had those as a kid. You might have to borrow 20 bucks. You might have to borrow? I don't have any more money. Oh, look. 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 Oh, Andy. <laughs> Would love that. I still don't know who Andy is. You'll meet Andy. You did that the last time and you didn't buy anything. There's some more for Andy. These are them. Tipsy cookies. Here you are, Dad. I'm not going to buy these for you. <laughs> okay, guys. That, that outdoor flea market, it doesn't happen like on a weekend basis. Um, and it's kind of a seasonal thing. They do one in the spring and they do a few in the summer and then they'll do a couple in the fall. So if you're in that area, go check out the Antique Mall. And if you have an opportunity to go to their outdoor flea market, go check it out. It's great. It was a ton of fun. We don't get to go to outdoor flea markets that much. And when we do, we take full advantage of it. And uh, just a few shout outs. Uh, first of all, I, I did not purchase anything from him, but this guy was totally cool, Garen Overfield, and uh, he's actually out of Boonville, Missouri. He was selling, no, I'll share his card there. And he was actually uh, selling old retro toys, and it was sensory overload. And his prices were right on, he had comics there too. And uh, he had some Ghostbusters stuff, Ninja Turtles stuff. And I was the and Star Wars stuff. He had a lot of Star Wars stuff. This close to pulling the trigger on some toys, but I was like, eh, I know there's some video games here. But he's really cool, and I, I'm actually gonna connect with him a little bit and see if we can do some business. So thank you very much, Garen. I appreciate it. It was cool talking to you and recording you, and yeah, you had a good booth. And then the last shout out, I want to give a shout out to B and G Movies and Games, Matt. You are so cool, man. Thank you. You hooked me up with those N64 games. I got some N64 exclusive Japanese titles only that were only released over there. And I'm actually going to tackle those after I complete my American set, North American set. And I'm also going to get a PAL set because it's not there's not that many more. So I'll get those. Thank you for those prices. I really appreciate it. Matt, uh, you're, you're a really cool guy. And, and when we came up to him, he knew immediately who we were. I've talked to him before. We met before. But he was giving Bubby some grief. And that'll, that'll be actually in a future retro in the Bubby episode. And uh, yeah, it was a fun day. Great day. Spending time with Bubby and Stevie. And those games. Oh my gosh. Woo. Got some good games. Got some good games. And they'll be in a future pickup video for you guys to check out. And hey, again, guys, uh, if you have not subscribed to me, please do so and like these videos. I really appreciate all the comment comments, comics, 
comments and I really appreciate you guys watching okay it means a lot to me and anyway guys have a great rest of your day and uh, thanks for watching